What's going on everybody? It's your boy the low key legend. How the fuck y'all doing today? I'm doing all right today. I'm back with a brand new episode of Stoner Tips for you guys. Yes, sir ski. We are back with a brand new episode. This is episode 161 of the Stoner Tips series. Today's topic, what we're going to be covering today, man, is the topic of blunt splitters. Okay? So, if you guys do enjoy at any point in time or are new to the YouTube channel, be sure to like the video right now and subscribe, hit the bell icon, always stay notified, never miss out on a brand new video from your boy, the low key legend. With all that out the way though guys, let's dive on into this commentary or episode of Stoner Tips talking about blunt splitters, okay? So blunt splitters are relatively cheap, first of all. If you don't know what a blunt splitter is, usually what these are are very small, little, they're about the size of and a swisher okay and inside what it has a little razor blade inside of this little probably one inch maybe two inch tube that is the size of like you can keep it on your keychain is what they're usually meant for uh, so once you have it on your keychain you always have it on you pretty much at all times and you can use this blunt splitter and how you use it is you put one end of the blunt in and once it's all the way through it's going to be already cut because the way the razor blade is made in the inside, it's on an angle downwards. So once you slide the blunt in and you grab it on the other side, all you got to do is continue to pull all the way through the blunt splitter. And But you have to make sure it's even as well. That's going to be the hardest part. And it's not hard at all to make sure it's even. All you got to do is just, you know, pull it all the way through evenly. And it's very simple. It slides very easily through. And just like that, you guys got yourself a perfectly, perfectly um, peeled or gutted blunt. And all you got to do after that is just take the guts out, obviously. Maybe uh, if it doesn't go all the way through, you might have to just take it and peel off little tiny little parts that might still be stuck together. Very rarely will that happen, but yeah, it's other than that, nine out of 99% of the time, man, you have a perfect, perfect gutted swisher. But then again, guys, these are uh, small investments that uh, sometimes you actually will forget about, all right? So this is like a lighter, but if you guys are already at a point, it's not as uh, as useful as a lighter is what I'm getting at. You feel me? So if you guys are already accustomed to breaking down swishers with your hands, like you've been doing it for, you know, months, years, even uh, getting a blunt splitter and actually using it is going to be hard because I'm not going to lie to you guys. I've actually purchased a blunt splitter before as well. But since I was so accustomed to breaking down my swishers with my hands and I got pretty good to a point where I never really messed up gutting a swisher, you know, unless I was pretty fucked up up while I was trying to gut a swisher then that those were exceptional you know moments but if I'm you know straight even if I'm high as fuck I'll be able to gut a swisher perfectly nine out of ten times maybe not as perfect as a blunt splitter would but good enough to you know damn near as good as a blunt splitter you feel me I just been gutting blunts for a minute and moral of it is I kind of forgot about it and never really used it too much which kind of sucked and then I think at one point it might have broke on me these things really aren't too long like Lasting, I don't think. Um, but I think something did happen. I think the keychain part broke and fell off, and then I ended up losing the actual piece. So, uh, but they are very, very cheap. I think you can get them for like two bucks, three bucks, maybe cheaper than that. Um, 99 cents, maybe some tobacco stores. I'm not sure. I haven't bought one in a while, so maybe do some research on that. But I know they are very, very cheap. Um, but usefulness, it's all about your guys' personal preference and how you want to use them. Uh, I would put it on a keychain or maybe like if you somehow can put it on. Yeah, I mean, a keychain is obviously the best idea, in my opinion, or a lanyard or something um, that you can always have access to because you will need to pull this out every time you want to smoke a blunt. And if you're smoking multiple blunts a day, you know, it might be a little harder on you for whipping that out, you know, in occasions like, oh, I got a blunt splitter. Yeah, let me use it. But it just remember that you have a blunt splitter type shit because sometimes I forget and I'll be sitting there. I'll just finish peeling the blunt and be like, damn. I look down at my keys and be like, I see my fucking blunt splitter. I'm like, damn, I could have just used that. I'm mad as hell. You know, I just bought one. Like, I don't want to, I don't, I don't ever want to buy something and just have it and not really use it. Even if it comes in handy at certain, at certain times, I guess it's cool to have. It's one of them things that did you might, you might as well have. Um, I don't see any downside of it unless, I mean, honestly, yeah, I don't really see any downside to it. You know, there's really no downside to it. Even if you don't use it a lot, it still can come into handy. I don't have one. 
one. The only reason I don't have one is just because I don't want to go out of my way to get one because I'm already good at gutting swishers with my hands. It's something that if you come across, like, you know, and you see a deal on it and you see it in the store, you're just like, hey, you know, I'll take that. You know, it's a dollar ninety nine. Fuck it, I'll try it out. Um, if you guys want to, if you guys are confident enough to not even worry about gutting a swisher, um, don't even worry about blunt splitters and just gut them with your hands. Uh, it's very easy to learn how to do that as well. I made a stunner tips way back in the day on that as well. Uh, but that is really all I have on blunt splitters. Relatively cheap, a decent investment, I would say. Um, and they're, they're worth it to try out. And it definitely worth it if you are going to use it a, um, a lot. You know, or not even a lot, but a good amount. You know, you're going to get your fair use out of it. So, in the end, man, hope you, hopefully you guys did learn something from this episode of Stoner Tips. Talking, talking about blunt splitters. If you guys have any other requests for episodes of Stoner Tips, drop them in the comment section right now, man. And I'll hit on them on the next episode, which should be out very shortly for you guys. But anyways, that's all I got, man. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit the thumbs up button right now. Subscribe if you guys are new and hit the bell icon. To always stay notified and never miss out on another video from your boy, the Low Key Legend. With all that out the way though guys i'm out of here y'all have a great rest of your day y'all stay safe stay savage stay low key it's your boy the low key legend i'm out of here guys adios